Hello everyone, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com. I'm here to introduce you to my new friend, which is the MedX Medical Lumbar Extension Machine. This is the Mark II version, which I'm told that only about 20 um, um, units of this were made. Um, and I've just acquired this recently, and we'll be incorporating it here at Ultimate Exercise shortly. I think that most of the people watching this video will be familiar with this machine, but for those that aren't, and for my clients, I just wanted to introduce you to the machine. The purpose of it is to train the very deep lumbar muscles uh, that surround the spine, the very deep paraspinous muscles. Normally, these muscles contribute only a, a stabilizing factor, and they do so by virtue of their tonus, the residual tension in the muscle, rather than the act of contraction of the muscle. Many times when you hurt your back, it's these deep, deep muscles that um, are the culprit. Reason being is the more superficial muscles uh, gradually become fatigued, and then suddenly a load of your long torso gets suddenly transferred onto these deep muscles and then they go into a very violent spasm and cause pathology. Also, these muscles are a major determinant of blood flow and support surrounding the lumbar discs. Take a little break here from the machine to show you in an anatomy book what we're trying to get after. These are the more superficial muscles of the lumbar spine that attach through the pelvis, go all the way up to the upper ribs, and even all the way to the occiput of the head to extend the entire torso. This produces approximately 188 degrees of motion of the trunk. If we strip away these superficial layers and get a nice close look here, you'll see what we're after. And that's these multifidi muscles and the intertransversalis muscles that are very, very deep. These can only be gotten at and exercised dynamically if you take the rotation of the pelvis out of the movement. So of all lumbar extension, all 188 possible degrees, only 72 degrees of that movement can be accounted for by the lumbar spine, and that can only be achieved if there's no rotation around the hips or pelvis whatsoever. And that's what this machine is about and why it looks such, like such a contraction or a Rube Goldberg apparatus. So in order to achieve that, so the subject is sitting in here facing forward and is going to be extending like this. But what happens is there is a very powerful restraint here that goes over the proximal thighs to restrain the thighs. And those are cranked down very forcefully as hard as the subject can stand it. The next thing that happens is the distal femur, the distal thigh right above the knee is immobilized by these pads. So your thighs are fully locked in. Your feet will be sitting on these feet board, foot boards right here. And then those are cranked in to drive your femur into the hip socket very forcefully and lock it down. If you are fully locked in, these little round pads, when you flex and extend, will not rotate. That is the signal and the indicator that the pelvis has been locked in place and the only thing that can generate movement at this point is those very deep muscles in the lumbar spine. Finally, when the subject's in, he is balanced with this very large counterweight that's over on this side of the machine that has a crank to it. And much like timing an engine, what you're doing with the person is that you are finding what's called top dead center to counterweight their torso because your torso, when you are leaned forward like this and you're trying to extend, you're having to lift the weight of your torso plus the resistance. When you get past vertical, your torso is actually assisting you because it's falling backwards with gravity. What this does is it places the subject in vertical and then you crank this counterweight until it perfectly balances the particular person's torso so that the weight of the torso is completely um, canceled out of the movement. Then and only then are you able to trace and monitor and know that the lumbar extensor muscles are working against the selected resistance and nothing else. 
and that resistance will be applied to that musculature with a very ideal strength curve. Now, all of this originally was monitored with force output gauges that read out through a computer screen. And that computer used to attach right here, so the, the person exercising would be looking right at it and could see how they were performing moment, moment by moment and whether or not they were having any form discrepancies. That's not on here now because this machine is from the late 90s, early 2000s, and the computer that ran the program is DOS-based and is not functioning anymore, but um, I have some other people trying to work on an upgraded um, computer system. All of the cables for the sensory um, output into the computer are tucked away under these weight stack towers and ready for usage in the future. Um, a similar sort of uh, concept is being used in the other machine that I acquired in this um, transaction, and that was the cervical extension machine. And without going into as much detail, it is again very important that all of the other trunk musculature be isolated out so that just the cervical extensor muscles are doing their work. And that's done with a pair of shoulder restraints that are very much like a race car driver would wear cinched down so that you are taking the trapezius out of the equation. And then this crank takes these two little round pads that you see there and compresses into the anterior chest to immobilize the torso so that when the subject is in there, only the neck is contributing to extension and also the same counterweighting um, of the head is done like the counterweighting of the torso and the lumbar extension using a crank that determines a weight for the person's head that reaches a top dead center measurement so that we are only measuring what the neck is doing. Also, this one has a computer interface, but again, same DOS-based program that I'm having to see if I can get someone with that kind of knowledge to help me out with because I'm an analog guy in a digital world. But I just wanted to introduce everyone to uh, my new toys and I can't, can't wait to use them here with clients at Ultimate Exercise. The idea will be for the cost of a workout, you can either do a, a spine only workout that uses these machines for the charge of a workout or we can wrap these in to a given workout, um, but the charge for the workout will be scaled up one additional workout just because of the complexity and uh, the time set up involved with this uh, equipment. But I'm really looking forward to get to be using this stuff. So I uh, just wanted to introduce you all to this. So um, for Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com, see you all again soon.